I loved everything about what the forces gave me as an individual, but I hated being part of an organisation that restricted people just living. And for me, it left that fear in my life for, you know, 34 years. Recalling her experience of life in a very different armed forces, honorary colonel and Olympic champion Dame Kelly Holmes is relieved things couldn't be more different now. She joined the army at 17, serving for nearly 10 years, but during that time she had to hide her sexuality because being a serving gay woman was banned. It was only last year, after decades of silence, that she revealed her sexuality publicly for the first time. Ladies, friends, colleagues, welcome to Speaker's House. Another first was attending an event to mark LGBT Plus History Month. She was invited by the Speaker of the House of Commons, who hosted the evening, celebrating the contribution made by the community to stage, screen, media and sport. This is such a new experience for me, to come to an event like this, believe it or not. LGBT History Month, I've never done it in my whole career, in my life. And so it's a privilege to come and obviously to be here with some really esteemed guests and obviously the speaker um, invited me to this. It's, um, yeah, very special. She can inspire others and that's what she's done. She was brave, she came out and she said to people, this is how I was treated, do not be treated like this. And she is there, she stands up for people. And that's why I was so pleased she was here tonight. Halfway during my army career, I also got back involved in international athletics. You know, and so on one side of me, I'm this civilian international athlete where no one spoke about being gay. And on the other side, you know, I'm a military soldier, you know, was recognised uh, with my MBE for services to the military just as I left. And those two careers almost collided for me as an individual. So it wasn't just about the ban that was in place in the military, it was about society and how behind it was an understanding that we could all have a right to live our life authentically. What do you think the you of you back then would think of what conditions are like now? <laughs> you know, it's amazing to see the transformation, you know, with the ban being lifted in 2000, and to see that over that 22 year period, the changes to allow everybody and anyone to live their life authentically and it not affect their position or their job. I just think it's like night and day. What is your message to anyone in that, in that community um, right now, today in, in 2023? Well, anyone still serving who is maybe still unsure of where they stand. You know, the military has given you that opportunity to be you. And I would say you take that opportunity because there's not much in life where you have that ability to be free in you, to grow to show, to just grab every opportunity in life. And I would have loved to have been you, so don't be fearful anymore. You have a right just to smile and be happy. So if it's you listening and worried about it, unsure, you know, live your, live your life. Dame Kelly hopes her story will be an encouragement to anyone who's been through what she went through. Sean Gweszczek, Forces News, Westminster. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.